Welcome back to, oh look, Joe's got a new studio space and he's trying it out, but his plants are sell tape put on the wall. <gasps> Today's guest is Jack. Hi. Okay, quick studio tour. Uh, desk, wall, like, this, everything's just been put up. Plants, and what I like to call, my Miranda cam. Today, we are gonna be experiencing the most unusual mansions. Are we? Yes. I love looking at houses. I know, let's do it. Yes! Oh, we're looking down here, are we? <laughs> yeah. The suburbs are packed with droves of nearly identical houses, but some individuals choose to stand out from the crowd. <laughs> what? From invisible tree houses to beautiful penthouses. That's nice. Exploring. I can see us living in the weirdest home in the world. That house is upside down. That could be our house upside down house. I'm scared about the invisible house. You don't know who's looking. The invisible house? I haven't seen an invisible house. Oh, you're not joking? No. It's invisible. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Designed by So Fokimoto, the transparent house of Tokyo, what? Japan is... I don't like that. You can see everything. 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 You're going to the toilet, everything. someone sees you. You're going for a shower, someone sees you. <laughs> <laughs> the good things would be that... There's no good things about that house, I'm sorry. This features various levels of living space within the segmented structure. That's great to just hang out on. There's a variation on a tree house. You can see everything. Everything. The extreme openness of the design was at the request of the clients, a young couple with no children. Dinks! Curtains were installed to provide temporary oh. partition. That's a lot of opening and shutting curtains. I hate doing that every night. Look how big that window is. Which no, one? Them curtains must cost a fortune. We're not happy with maintenance. No, and it's very, very... Bright. This unusual house can easily Ooh. be appreciated for both its modern architectural aesthetic I as like well it. as for its skateboard friendly curves. I don't hate Sign it. Out. The Where does he sleep, man? This is what I need to see. The former world champion and is split into three sections to accommodate living and dining rooms. Oh, no. Oh, no, 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 no. The, whole thing, the whole thing's a skateboard around. Are you having your breakfast and someone kick flips around your head? Yeah. You're having a bath. Someone's skateboarding around you. <laughs> Scrub a dub dub and you're skateboarding around me. <laughs> I'm trying to think of more skateboard uh, terms. Tony Hawk. Ollie. It can do an ollie on it. Each space is skatable as the ground becomes the wall, then the ceiling, and a continuous surface forming a tube <laughs> of a tent. Imagine you come home late and me and Leah just skateboarding around the house. I'm thinking about how dirty that house must get. Dirty walls, dirty ceiling, dirty floors, dirty bed, dirty everything. <laughs> Get right. Warsaw, Poland is home Excuse to the me? skinniest house. The Karet House in Warsaw That's is the, the house. That's the house. Crevice. That can't be real. Look at the side, that's like is Stuart Little. That can't be real. Stuart Little is a, a little mouse. A little mouse house. It's a bit big for a mouse house, but I know what you mean. I think of the council tax on that would be quite minimal because there's not many windows there. The Karet House stretches over 30 feet tall, but is simultaneously only 28 inches wide at its narrowest point, thinner than a stove top. And that's this table. Karet said he was moved by the construction of the house, as his family hasn't had one more It's like the a hotel capsule advanced yes. version, which just goes up, but you'd have lots of problems there. Yeah, you can't get furniture in there. No furniture in there. Your bed is going to have to be half a single. Half a single. That's half a single. If you had to order a sofa, you wouldn't be able to take it. Is it just stairs? No. Where are the stairs? They do have a lot of windows there, so they could crane it in, I guess. It'd be good for just one really tall person. That's cool. Oh, I've seen stuff really like this, this when they transform like it into a house. Totally That's very different. Oh, Ooh, okay. A family home. Built in 1938, the There's a plane there! It's in a flight path! Sometimes they don't tell you that when you buy a house. Nah. But you can hear it when you view it. The occupants can also ascend to the rooftop <gasps> house where they can That's the cool. Family. We're like really good bad estate agents. Yeah, we definitely ain't fit in this for anyone. We're not what? What is this? Based on the enormously popular 1960s cartoon, The Flintstones. This that exists? Is no. To the fictional town of Bedrock and comes complete with dinosaur statues. That's sick. <laughs> with the words yap 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 That's quite a big house. But not everyone felt the same way about this unique property. Neighbors tried to forcibly remove the Flintstones motif by declaring the house a public nuisance. The court back- It's a public genius act. What's uh, Fred's wife called? Fred? Yeah, Fred Foot. Who's else do you think this is? I've never really watched the Flintstones. The what? Be, I've never really watched the Flintstones, to be honest. <laughs> the Flintstones. Flintstones. Fred and Vel- is it Velma? No, that's Scooby-Doo. Right. 
The dumpster? One California yeah. California man converted a six square foot dumpster into a fully functional home. You might forget which one your house is and end up sleeping in. Literally. Hey. Well, Vin Vin might take you. People can live in such a compact Hello. space. The idea was basically this. Jeff and his students would turn the regular dumpster into a sustainable home. <laughs> That's <laughs> disgusting. <laughs> so it's literally a dumpster. Yeah. He added lighting, a new floor, and plenty Did of Did he just take the dumpster? I mean, where would my mum stay if she came? The left corner. Speaking of my mother, Mother's Day is approaching people. And I just want to take a little minute in this vid to say how much my lovely mum has done for me. Hi, <laughs> Kathy. You all right? It's always been just me and her from the very beginning. She's bringing the wheelie bin in now. She's basically done everything for me and she still does even when she's miles away in Portugal. But she's moving back here soon. Well, not here where I am. She's off up north in Yorkshire. I thought I'd surprise her with an early Mother's Day present with Lego creator sets and the Lego icons botanical collection. Hello. This is a three in one. I think I'll go for the welly. The Wellington boot. I mean, I could have a watering can or two lovely birds sat on my Lego bricks. Now, I've already surprised her with this when she wasn't in the country. We could build this together on Mother's Day. Hey, oh, that'd be nice. Super duper doop. Okay, she's getting in the bath now. But until then, let's build this welly. Welly. Wellington boot. I love this setup for building me Lego bricks. Ooh, it's one brick to the right. Now, you know I love the Lego group. And I think you'll know by now, they love me. It's a bricky relationship. Now, these sets will make Mother's Day extra special and a change from the norm, allowing you both to spend time together on the day itself, building something unique that will just last forever. Wish me plants on my wall would. And it's just a bit more meaningful to give a unique gift and experience this Mother's Day. Wouldn't you agree, Joe? Oh, yeah. And did you know the 3 in 1 set has interactive features? Oh, yes. Well, I'll tell you anyway. It includes flowers with movable petals and butterfly toys on transparent sticks that give the impression they are flying for added playtime fun. And these actually fit into a brilliantly alternative... Alternative... Alternative gift this Mother's Day. How am I a presenter on telly? And my mum is also brilliantly alternative. That's where I get it from. Bada boop ba And the LEGO Creator 3 in 1 sets make great creative gifts with three different build options in one set for kids to build with the mums. From cool vehicles. That was. Oh, there's more. Then amazing animals to detailed city scenes. There's a creator set for everyone. Even me. You will see a finished flower boot right about now. Ta-da! So that's that one done there. Now, this one is part of the Lego Botanical Collection. And it's also a brill alternative gift this Mother's Day. Why? It allows you to keep it fresh with something that isn't expected. It's also a fun change to gift in regular flowers, actually, because they die. Whereas these don't, they actually last forever. Uh, okay. And provide hours of fun. This wildflower bouquet set will let you relax, unplug, and create something extraordinary. When complete, the impressive flower display brings a touch of fun and colour to any room. Let's go surprise her. <clears throat> I'm gonna have to do it in the morning now because she's out the bath and she won't be on camera. I'll just leave you here. Hello. It's not a living creature, I'm just holding it behind my back. It's not a living creature. You ready? It's not a puppy, is it? All right. <laughs> just put your surprise. phone down. <laughs> a surprise. Yes. Go on then. Oh, hang on. There's a distraction. Hello. Come here. That's, that's not the surprise. Happy early Mother's Day. <laughs> 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 it's flowers in a boot. <laughs> oh, that is lovely. It's good, isn't it? It's good, isn't it? You can add it to your collection. Did you make it? It looks like a welly boot as well. It, it is a welly boot. Not that I'd be wearing. Yeah. Oh, that's lovely. You can change it to a watering can if you fancy. <laughs> Why does everybody break everything I build? <laughs> it's also like a half housewarming gift whenever you get a house. Uh, well, yeah, and I probably need wellies. You okay, sir? Mm. Right, well, hold on to that. There's another little surprise. Shut your eyes and hold your hands open. Right, open them now. This is yours. Oh! <laughs> it took a while. I thought it was a box of seeds. <laughs> <laughs> it might grow. 
Oh, that's lovely. Should we scatter them? <laughs> Don't scatter them in your garden. Yeah, are you happy? Thank you. Yes, seriously. Good I want stuff. To open it now and... All right. Oh, well, let's get building now then. <laughs> uh, as you can tell, these sets are a perfect gift for a loved one this Mother's Day, and they're available now. You can click the link downstairs in the description. Just really getting into it. <laughs> <laughs> can you now say back to the unusual houses and just say it down there? Back, back to the unusual houses. Thank you. I've seen these. Upon That's cool. This is the result of an unfortunate crash landing in the jungle, but it's actually a hotel. And oh. yes, you can stay in it. I wonder if, if we booked it when we'd be bowing. When we'd be bowing there. What's bowing mean? Maybe we'd be bowing there, 747. Landon. They basically took a disaster and turned it into a really <laughs> sick. It place. didn't actually crash. Very different. If you've got a fear of flying. Do you think you might get travel sick if you just sat up there? It's quite plain though. You said plain. Yes! Come on, Germany's I see these everywhere. Inside. How did they build that? Let's find out together. As well as a coffee shop, there's also a fully upside down house next to it. Which That's is open sick. to the public to explore. The entire establishment belongs to an imaginary family named the Topples. The Topples! Fruit bowls. That triggers me a bit. Ceiling. It's making me feel so sick. Yeah. In the bathroom. As if that wasn't all. I can't. I can't look at me for a This is your now. How did that house get there? Do you think they built it right and flipped it? No. Mr. Toilet House is the former residence of Suwan's mayor. It houses hilarious feces related <laughs> to the It's a toilet! Area. This is the house we should move into! Oh my god, this is amazing. <laughs> what do you do there? It's especially well. It's a turd! It's, she's rubbing a bum on the toilet, on the poo poo. It's a turd. Oh, a turd! Jake Doug was well. His passion for the potty was so rich that in 2007 he completely redesigned his house of 30 years. Oh, it's a massive bog! You must really love toilets to build your house looking like a toilet. But if you went in there and you needed the toilet, do people think you're being funny when you go, do you know where the toilet is? They go, ha ha ha, good, they be good. No, say we're in the toilet. <laughs> That's really funny, that is. I'm, but honestly, I'm gonna, I ruined the toilet. <laughs> where do you think the toilet is? In the toilet. And dogs actually poo herself. Huh? Dogs will get poo herself as a little burst of vessel. I don't want we get poo ourselves. Like, this is the most incredible homes in the world. I love big houses. Might not be, well, it'll be unusual because they'll be un 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 <sighs> unusual. Press the button. Oh! Already love it. Love the neighborhood. Lovely neighbors this time of year. This house is definitely one of your, one of a kind. Forget your expectations of a normal mansion. These homes redefine oh, luxury with amenities whoa. fit for royalty and price tags. That One day, most incredible. Oh, I'm gonna like this. I hope the poo house comes up. The manor. This man. Whoa! That's huge. You could be on the east wing and I'll be on the west wing. To build the most <gasps> LA had ever seen. All right then, build your up. Whoa! Big rooms. That could be a hotel. I know, I'll build my own house. How many rooms would you like? 123. One, 123. Bathroom, living room, kitchen. So what do you do with the rest of the 118 rooms? Wasted opportunity, in my opinion. Gym, bowling alley. Oh, gym, yeah, bowling alley, yeah, yeah. And several pools. Ah! The parking lot accommodates 100 vehicles, and there are also 16 carports. The house was very controversial. Wow. This is too much information to process at once. The heating bills. I couldn't lift the council tax. Tell me about it. Oh, it that is just not market. real. It took real estate legend Bruce Mikowski and a team of 300 more than four years to renovate this property. Four it years? In 2017 for a phenomenal <sighs> 250 That's beautiful. Quarter of a bill. Four years to do up. This just a day. Yeah, well done. I can't see any of the mistakes. They're hidden by us. Mikowski said that he was inspired at Mikowski! And includes such luxuries as worth of luxury cars, a priceless art collection. Oh, that's oh, like sick. That. We could have that on one of our shelves. <gasps> candy room, candy oh. room. And the largest residential television in the world, which is Oh, I've seen this! 40 reclining seats Whoa. crafted Italian leather. We haven't got that many friends, Jack. Italian leather? That's good, that is Italian leather. Mikowski will also pay for the home's full-time staff of seven. Including oh, you need Staff. I don't know if I'd like staff in my house. No, me neither. But it's like the cleaner, the cook. What else did you have in your home, your stately home, when you were younger? I didn't live in a stately home. Okay. So it's the cleaner, the cook. What else? 
the butler. <laughs> <laughs> what else costs? Is that near a beach? It looks lovely, that's beach from that. You mm. could you get all your money back by hosting weddings on the beach. Cost a lot, that would, love. It'd be so good, would it? Ah! Oh, it's, this is the pinnacle, this is. This is the pinnacle. It has 10 bedrooms. Oh! Beneath a ski resort. A, a ski resort. Yeah. Owners don't need to worry about getting cold in the winter, though. In addition to a wine cellar, massage room, and gym, the house has heated floors and a fireplace in every... Oh, I like this. The castle is located in the... Do you, do you know who Dracula is? Yeah, it's from the film Dracula. <laughs> Rooms and 17 bedrooms firsthand. The castle is still. That's very spooky. I really get bit by a vampire yeah. in the night. No thanks, sir. It's like a that horror movie. That at night time be terrifying. We've walked past that's in the park. Only after the war did it come out that the facilities were used for torture, complete with dozens of cages and interrogation. Underground extension with a tennis. Ooh, a tennis court. And a health, health center. center. That's good. NHS. We love you, NHS. No, it's for the royal family. Oh. The penthouse is a $200 million. <laughs> in Hyde Park in London. To begin with, it has two stories with floor-to-ceiling windows, its own parking lot. How would you get the cars up there? <laughs> Why is the cars in the living room? Think of the petrol. An air purifier to frustrate poison gas attacks. Iris skin. I could I get an air purifier from b and If you're paying 200 million, you're gonna want all this. Yes. But we've got a de dehumidifier. Dehumidifier, yeah. That clears with the water out the air. Why is the water in the air? In addition to the largest garden in the UK, the house has an astonishing 775 wow, rooms. The yeah, but imagine you, walking around that all day. I mean, you can never buy or live in that, can you? No. It's in central London. It's Buckingham Palace! I know! Whoa. We're so good at selling houses, aren't we? We are. Thanks so much for watching, everyone. Uh, join us again next time, as I may have a different guest. And we're not good enough. Hope you enjoyed. Lots of love. Peace. See you next time. Bye! Subscribe!